back here at the bathroom reno and the first thing we're going to do you can see where my drain is off it's about half to three quarters of an inch so the first thing we're going to do is get this shower base lifted up to where i can get in there and work and extend that drain out so it lines up properly all right, so I forgot to turn the time lapse on, but what I did was put two pieces of two by four underneath of it to lift it up to where I could get my hand under here. And then I lifted it straight up, got one piece of two by four in there to hold it, and then put a screw there and a screw there. So now it's held in place. I can go ahead and cut my pipe and extend it to where it needs to be. All right, I've got the extension put in the pipe and now we should be good to go. So I can go ahead and lower the shower base back down into position, secure it, and we'll be ready for the next step. Now the base is in. The drain is in so I can go ahead and repair this electric line which I've I'm putting the junction in a box and then I've got to put on my surround walls and figure out how this fancy massaging shower head goes in now I'm dry fitting the walls They're getting pretty close. I'm going to have to do some shimming and wiggling, but they're getting really close. So the next step is going to be to figure out how this fancy massage faucet has to get hooked up. So that's what I'll bring up next. All right, got some hot mud mixed up and now I'm going to start filling in the edge of my shower. Yesterday I put my pecs in with my half inch pipe fittings and the supply lines that came on the shower didn't want to work so I've replaced them and now I'm ready to hook this back up.
So we've got the paint all touched in. And so now time for the door and she'll be done. Back at the shower job, I've got the bottom rail and guides mounted on the shower. Now I'm working on figuring out where my upright top crossbar has to be. See, I've got it painted around there and we're good to go. This door is just a little complicated. Now the doors are in, the waterproofing is up on that side. You see that top rail and I had to notch it in to the shower frame. And now this side of the shower stall wasn't very even, so it's taped on right now and then I'll have to caulk that after it dries a little bit more but it's wanting to fight me all the way but anyway that's it for this job another one in the books I'll see you guys on the next one like comment subscribe check out wine world check out cycle red have a great day